So in the last video, we have looked at tricyclic antidepressant uh, uses. So tricyclic antidepressants uh, are uh, called so because of their structure. They increase the norepinephrine and serotonin levels in the CNS. They are highly effective, but they have a lot of side effects. Hence, they are not the first line of ducts, drugs. SSRIs, that is ser selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, are more uh, used. They are the first line of drugs. Imipramine is an example for tricyclic antidepressants. However, we have uh, other uh, things, other examples mentioned here as, as in when we go, we'll tell you. Uses of tricyclic antidepressants in endogenous depression which is a major depression and also depression uh, face in bipolar illness. We are going to use uh, uh, tricyclic antidepressants. So these antidepressants will uh, improve the mood of the person, will uh, make sure the person is more interested in things. Um, then the, the person's concentration will improve, agitation will decrease and the person becomes more responsive. Coming to anxiety, actually SSRIs and benzodiazepines are preferred. Obsessive compulsive disorder, you are going to use... Uh, Fluvoxamine, that is an SSRI, and a clomipramine, that is a tricyclic antidepressant. You will actually use clomipramine, tricyclic antidepressant. For some reason, this background doesn't seem to be going well with the clarity. Just see if this is appearing better for you. So let us go <coughs> with this um, with this one. So endogenous uh, depression, you will use um, TCA, right? And in anxiety, you will use this. In anxiety, you can use then obsessive obsessive compulsive disorder. You can use clomipramine, that is a tricyclic antidepressant, and fluvoxamine, that's an SSRI. Attention deficit hyperactive disorder. You can use uh, all these drugs, that is imipramine. That is a tricyclic antidepressant. That is the first one we taught you also. Imipramine, tricyclic antidepressant example. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder you can use. And you can also use nortriptyline. Apart from that, you can use lot of which do not belong in this uh, category though. Fine. Then coming to nocturnal enuresis. Nocturnal enuresis you can use. Uh, that is bedwetting, involuntary urination. You can use uh, tricyclic antidepressants, imipramine. Imipramine, if they ask you an example, remember to write uh, depression, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, and nocturnal enuresis. Then coming to migraine, you can use uh, amitriptyline, triptyline, amitriptyline, which is uh, used, it's a tricyclic antidepressant used to treat migraine. Neuralgias, like trigeminal neuralgia, you can use uh, tricyclic antidepressants. Then uh, if, there, if it is fibromyalgia, you actually have to use SNRI, okay? Coming to atopic uh, dermatitis, that is eczema, you have to use uh, topical doxepin, that is a tricyclic antidepressant. And if there is premature ejaculation, you can also use uh, uh, SSRIs actually are preferred, like paroxetine, fluoxetine, dapoxetine. However, if they don't work, then you can use tricyclic antidepressants okay SSRIs then tricyclic antidepressants are the choice let us now try to recollect and write what we have learned okay ready the first we saw was depression endogenous depression depression phase in bipolar disorder you can use tricyclic antidepressants what exactly they will do also you can write what is depression what are the symptoms of depression and how how will they improve after treatment? All that you can write. Then you will use for anxiety. Actually, for anxiety, you will use SSRIs. Then uh, you are going to obsessive compulsive disorder. For obsessive compulsive disorder, you are actually using clomipramine and then fluvoxamine. Clomipramine is a tricyclic antidepressant. The next one, can you recollect after OCD, what was it? Obsessive compulsive disorder then? I think it was nocturnal enuresis, correct? No, it was attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. For this, you will use imipramine and nortriptyline. Imi, imipramine and nortriptyline. Both of these are tricyclic antidepressants. Then for nocturnal enuresis, that is bedwetting or involuntary urination, 
we will use imipramine then migraine you will use migraine you will use what and ami ami triptyline ami triptyline for migraine for neuralgias like trigeminal neuralgias you can use tcas trigeminal neural neuralgias do you remember carbamazepine we had learnt carbamazepine where had we learnt that actually you can see this uh, remember this carbamazepine it was used to treat uh, seizures epilepsy and also trigeminal neuralgia okay so you can remember even carbamazepine in trigeminal neuralgia we have actually used carbamazepine okay but that isn't coming it isn't coming in this one we are trying to learn the uh, uses of tricyclic antidepressants in which we have also using for <coughs> trigeminal neuralgias next atopic dermatitis you will use topical doxepin doxepin don't get sp uh, confused with the antibiotic doxycycline this is doxepin which is a tricyclic antidepressant this atopic dermatitis is also called as eczema fine then moving on premature ejaculation you can use clomipramine premature ejaculation you can use actually ssris followed by tricyclic antidepressants like clomipramine okay so here in this entire thing we have mentioned only tcas if you can see so let us see what are all drugs came here clomipramine imipramine imipramine again here amitriptyline doxepin clomipramine clomipramine actually and imipramine have repeated here oh nortriptyline i forgot nortriptyline if you look at the unique ones it is imipramine clomipramine nortriptyline amitriptyline and doxepin so if you know 1 2 3 4 5 five drugs you can mention as examples okay let's see if you can remember the drug wise okay tricyclic antidepressants let us see the amitriptyline amitriptyline for migraine nortriptyline attention deficit hyperactivity disorder imipramine endogenous depression nocturnal enuresis doxepin atopic dermatitis clomipramine in ocd and premature ejaculation after ssris you can use this okay